Konnichiwa! Hi everyone! I was just playing around with my little kalimba, also called a thumb piano that I'm holding. It's an African a percussion melody instrument. So Google about it and check it out. It's usually like beautifully decorated with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This particular one has seven pins. So yeah, makes good background music for storytelling, which is what we are about today. Welcome to Tells Me To Singer. So, you know our intro song. Tell me what time it is. It's time for Tells Me To Singer. Tell me what time it is. It's time for Tells Me To Singer. I hope 2019 has been going on well with you. Welcome again to another episode. This will be the late March episode. Let's let's call it that. So I will do the April. I'm uploading the March episode in April. I'm doing it on April the 1st. No, it's not April 4th. <laughs> I'll do another episode in April and call that the April episode. So welcome, welcome. My name is Tosinga. As you know, a singer, songwriter, storyteller, and I love to share African folk tales. Those that are already existing and those that I write myself. So I'm going to um, do a twist on uh, a tale that uh, the great SSB, a friend of mine, Simon, has sent. Because you know the tortoise is always, always the main uh, character in uh, my folk tales, and the African folk tales generally, and the, in, I mean the Yoruba folk tales. It's Anansi in Ghanaian folk tales, and it's Brer Rabbit in African American folk tales. So there's always the the smart character, the trickster, the one who seems to know all, who who, who always seems to know how to navigate life situations with wisdom. So I have a story today, very simple, uh, Tortoise and the Corn. Tortoise and the Corn, actually I read, um, I'll be performing, by the way, uh, on April the 12th at the Word of South Festival. Word of South uh, Festival taking place in Tallahassee, Florida, where authors and musicians are paired together and given a stage to express their craft. And I was paired with a very um, notable fiction writer uh, and professor, Ihioma Nwachuku, who I just read one of his short stories um, called Train Juju. And he had kind of referenced uh, an African folktale. Uh, you know, it's always about the tortoise, and he, he, he wrote The Tortoise and the Corn. So I decided to, you know, put a story around, merge the story I had about the rabbits, and merge it with the title in Ihioma's work, which is a tortoise and the corn, and came up with something presentable. And I hope you enjoyed and learned a lesson of, or two, as usual. So, story, story, story. Once upon a time, time, time. Yes, ah, the tortoise and the corn. The tortoise was feeling really, really hungry. Actually, he wasn't really feeling hungry. He was just kind of craving. He was craving corn you know how we eat corn in uh, nigeria or in african countries generally roasted by the roadside or boiled during its season it's always usually so sweet and yummy corn on the cob yes always on the cob sometimes when it's boiled you peel it you peel the leaves and then you eat it or even roasted with the leaves sometimes or taken out of the cob you know it's always so delicious but this particular day the tortoise really, really wanted to eat some corn. And so he walked up to this um, food store down the road in the village square. And, and I, I, I don't know what he was expecting to do. May, I think he doesn't have the money to buy the corn. He doesn't have the money to buy the corn. So he walks confidently into the food store and says, uh, I want corn. Give me corn. You know, he just said it like, he just like he he's entitled to it. He didn't even ask or say he wanted to purchase. He just said, "I want corn. Give me corn." The uh, food store owner said, "We do not have corn." The tortoise was like, 
well i want corn the food store owner said we do not have corn okay so he walked out but the next day he started having the craving again so he walked up to the store owner and said i want corn the store owner got really angry like this this guy keeps coming i told you we don't have corn if you come back here again demanding corn i am going to knock your head with a hammer and a nail Tortoise was like, oh, 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 take it easy now, take it easy now. He said, okay, okay, bye. He stepped out based on the threat, went home, thought about it. He was like, oh, oh, I'm still having that craving for corn. I'm going to go back there. I'm going to go back there. He goes back there on the third day. Knock, knock, who's there? Mr. Tortoise demanding for corn again. Hello, I want some corn. The guy was like, what did I tell you the last time? Tortoise was like, okay, you know what? I don't want corn anymore. Do you have nails? The stone I said, nails? No, we don't have nails. Okay, um, hmm, do you have a hammer? The stone I said, no, we do not have a hammer. It's a food store. Thought as well. Thought about it and said, okay. You don't have hammer. You don't have nails. I want corn. <laughs> get it? Do you get it? Oh my, the tortoise is so conny and so smart and so tricky and so sneaky. And that's the end of the story. It's a short story, but it's loaded. I think it is loaded. You can tell. So... The lesson or the moral of the story is never, never make empty threats. If you know you do not have something to give, don't offer it. And that's how the tortoise was able to navigate, continuing to ask for corn, I guess, until he was given because the tortoise never gives up. He gets what he wants when he demands for it. You know, I mean, there could have been a nicer way to ask for things or you could work for the money so you can buy it. But he, he, he knew his way around things and that's how he was able to keep asking for corn. And that ends the story of the tortoise and the corn. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to share. Let me know what you think, comment. And if you have any other folktale that you'd like me to share with the people, do not hesitate to send it to me at Tosinga at yahoo.com, T-O-S-I-N-G-E-R at yahoo.com or check out my website at T-O-S-I-N-G-E-R.com, www.tosinga.com. Until next time, thanks for tuning in, staying with me, listening, sharing, supporting, subscribing. Until then, Odabo.